I'm a Jew, Jew. She gon' rock the pink. I'm a rock the blue. I don't feel alone cause I know I got you. What's up, y'all, and good morning. Today is Friday, and we are on our way to work. Well, not on our way. I'm here. I stopped by the store already and got my coffee and got me some snacks, and I'm going to be here for 12 hours. And, yeah, so we just pulled up here, and, um, yeah, we about to go. Like I said, not secure, not double, but quadruple this bed, okay? So, I'm going to um, try to check in with y'all periodically. They already told me Monday that we was going to probably have a lot of admissions today. So, I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can so y'all can kind of see the process of what I'm doing during the admissions. And, you know, I wish I knew about YouTube videos when I first became a nurse because I was so lost, y'all. So lost. Oh, and I'm going to just throw this in here, but I'm going to do a separate video. But, I am back in school for my RM. Um, I think it was Charmaine on here to ask about it. So I am gonna do a separate video on that. Yesterday was my first day. Um, I'm still doing some of my prereq, so yeah. It's a 15 month program. So yeah, y'all, I'm excited. Some of uh some of it is online and some days we have to go to class. So y'all are gonna be going on this journey with me. So stay tuned. Without further ado, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, make sure y'all comment some more videos down below. Make sure y'all give this video a huge thumbs up. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, y'all. So I am doing my med pass. It's 6 30. Um we have a couple new admissions. I think two since the last time I was here. I have a couple people going out for dialysis, so I'm trying to make sure I go ahead and get them their medicine before they go i got one who said i need to call because she said she's not going because she's in pain so we're going to call them to cancel that and if you hear some talking it's because i got the aha radio playing um let's And most of the meds come pre-rolled on a thing like this with the time. When you're supposed to give it and what the medicine is. Mm. Oh gosh, she take a lot of food. I like to go ahead and sign out my NART since I'm going. Some people like to wait till they get done with their whole med pass. Before they sign anything out, I don't. Just in case something's not right. So. And then I like to play with this paper so I know I'm going to count with the next person. I'm going to sign this out. And then we're going to let me find her injection. This is her hair injection. 
Oh, this comes already pre-filled. So all you have to do is just pop this off, inject it. Um, I like to do mine in the belly. We're gonna inject the whole 30. What does she give? A lot of the insulins come like this now, pre-filled. And all you do is take one of these little things, pop it on there. And make sure you get all the bubbles out before you give it. So you can just turn it down and keep pushing until all the bubbles come out because you don't want to get them bubbles because then it means they're not getting their medicine. So y'all, quick little update. I'm actually done. It's 11 o'clock, I've been done. I'm actually sitting here catching up on some homework because I am a little bit behind, but your girl will get caught up, okay? Okay, y'all, so it is now 2.19. I'm getting ready to take me a lunch break. Don't even know if I want Wendy's or if I want Crystal. I think I'm gonna go get Crystal's because I'll eat Wendy's, I know. Um, sorry, y'all, I think I pulled out in front of a car. But, um, yeah, so one thing I want to talk about real quick, because I did have an admission, like I said. First thing first, y'all remember what I told y'all to do when you get an admission. First thing you're going to do is go lay eyes on your patient. Don't let nobody else tell you nothing about your patient until you go lay eyes on your patient. You look them over from head to toe, front to back. Look at everything. And if you see any red marks or blanchable spots, which meaning if you see a red spot, and you can touch it and it blanches and turn like white, a white color, and then it turn right back red. You need to make sure you note that. Okay. Make sure you check pedal pulses in their feet. Make sure you listen to their bowels for at least if you if you listen to their bowels and then you like, well, I heard it in, in the first two quadrants, but I didn't hear it in the bottom. The one that you didn't hear it in, go back and listen and listen for at least five minutes before you say, okay, he has an absent bowel uh, sound in the right lower quadrant. I always make sure you listen for a, a complete five minutes before you absolutely say, okay, this person is absent there. Okay, so after you do that, make sure you check in their mouth. Um, Cause sometimes people have dentures and sometimes, you know, people don't put them in right they don't feel right so they get a little you know bruising and stuff inside their mouth make sure their their tongue is pink and moist check their pupils check their radial pulses listen to their heart listen to their lungs like listen do all of that y'all like i'm telling you it'll save you it will save your butt if you do all that um when you're doing your charting it's gonna ask you all of this stuff too and make sure when your when your uh, resident or patient whatever arrives to the facility make sure you write down the time make sure you write down how they came did they come by personal vehicle did they come by ems or transportation bus if they came by ambulance i always put resident arrived at this facility at this time per um em, per uh, ambulance via two emt texts make sure you put that on there um uh, you know if they ever go out for a doctor's appointment, dialysis, anything, make sure you do a little progress note telling what time they left. That will save your butt, too. It just be the little smallest things I'm telling y'all. Make sure you get a full set of vitals. Make sure you get a full set of vitals. Whenever you get a report from the uh, facility where the person is coming from, make sure you ask them when was their last valve movement. Um, how do they take their medications? Is they a diabetic? Do they have a pacemaker? You know, how do they ambulate? Are they incontinent or continent? Do they have a catheter? Do they have a colostomy bag? Ask as much information as you can because that also will help you out. Make sure y'all remember that. Let me see something else. What is leaking? I'm sorry, y'all. Something just came running down my window. But yes, y'all. An admission. Make sure you on your stuff. That's all I got to say because I can't stand to come behind somebody who did an admission and didn't chart nothing. Like, girl, you didn't even chart that the person even came. 
And if your doc, if you have a nurse practitioner in house, like we do on certain days or certain times, before that person leave, make sure you look over their medications to make sure that you don't need a script for something before the doctor leave. That way you can go ahead and get the order before they leave and you ain't got to call. And if you got a facility like mine, uh, like I had a new resident that came, it's been a few weeks ago, and um, he needed, I want to say he was delighted or something. And of course, you know, we didn't have that. So we have what's called a Pixis or a Cubex, which is like this little computerized machine that holds narcotics and certain backup medications. So what you do is you call a pharmacy, they give you a code, you put the code in, enter in the medication, find the resident, and it should pop out a drawer. Wait a few seconds if the flap don't pop up, but the flap should pop up and you should be able to pull out the exact medicine. Make sure you count how many is in there and then make sure you enter that and then you enter how many was left once you pulled your medication out. I know I just said a whole lot to y'all, so if y'all have any questions, make sure y'all can email me on my um, email address down in the description box. You know, if it's certain questions you want to ask and you don't want to put it in the um, comment section down below. But yeah, y'all, I just had to get that out there real quick while I was on my mind. Now, let me sit here and order my food. Yes, can I get the five for five? Can I get three crystals with cheese? No pickles? All right, so I got the pick five. Hey, you want three cheese, no pickles? Uh-huh, small fry. And then let me get a strawberry Fanta, no ice. Right, and I think that'll be all. Seven nineteen. You want around? I should have got me a damn milkshake. That's what I should have got. Cause I'm, I'm gonna be at work till six o'clock, and it's just two twenty-five, baby. Y'all, so I was looking for a dresser for uh, my little girl. So I was like, every time I buy them a, a nice dresser, they tear it up. So I was like, I'm not about to go spend another two, three hundred on a dresser that they gonna tear up. Cause for some reason they feel like they can stand on top of the dresser, stand inside the dresser when the drawers open. Like, so I ended up going to the Goodwill, y'all, and I found. I'm gonna have to post a picture if I still got it. That I sent my husband. I found a nice little dresser. I think I paid like $50 for it. Y'all, it was a five deal. And honey, me and my husband found a way to put it in the back seat of this car. We had to leave uh, the door open a little bit. Don't tell nobody. But yeah, we got it home. Then I found a nice little um, nightstand, y'all. Like, originally $120. I got that done for $35. Clarence, baby. At this little place called um, some little furniture store. Her. But y'all, I've been baddie on a budget, period. Y'all know what's taking them so long to get my food. Hi there, how Hello. are you today? I'm good, how are you? Right. I'll be back here, y'all. So, quick little update. I just came to warm up my last little crystal burger I had left. And I'm done with all my meds, of course. It's like 5.20, I think. So, I'm just waiting on my relief to come. And baby, we're gonna get report count the meds and honey and leave. Cause it's like four emissions coming. Baby, I'm gonna be gone. Go, go. Okay, y'all. So as y'all can tell by what's on my head, that I done made it home. I done made it home, y'all. I done took a shower, done all the all those good things. I think I made it home at like seven o'clock. It is eight oh two now. So I done took a shower and all of those things. And I just got back out, which my husband was just saying. He don't know why I'm getting back out. And I just got the shower, and it's, like, cold and rainy outside. But that's neither here nor there. I really came to just close out this vlog. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Okay, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that big red subscribe button. Hit that big red subscribe button. And that's it for this video. Until next time, you guys, I'm out. I'm First, I want to tell you, baby girl, I love you. Baby, get my shooting and she pull me.